Christianity and Islam pose different threats to the vitality of the modern world. Christianity's extremists, the fundamentalists, typically undermine education in the first world, and hence they retard its potential. Islam undermines the very essence of the first world constitutional democracy, the right to free speech. This is typically done by suggesting that anyone who criticizes Islam is committing a intolerant hate. <coughs> Bollocks. If your faith is causing people to fly... No, 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 hold it, hold it, hold it right there, hold it right there, mister. Hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it. Now, I admit, both sides of the sand nigger issue threaten the vitality of any modern society, but so does a tautological slop in diction. What do you mean, sir, by hate crime? All crime contains mens re, criminal intent, sir, and all criminal intent contains malice. Hate Sir, hate! All crime is hate! Fall! Tautologies, indeed. They mutter. Wet water. Enthroning coronation. excoriating pumicing. <laughs> Cheesy smegma. I wish they'd tighten.